What is going on guys? Welcome back, MG Marine Tech here. And today's video is gonna be super short. It is gonna be geared towards guys who are outfitting an existing boat with new electronics, or you know, ordered a brand new boat and they're buying several electronics and they're wondering where to put you know, the larger screen with their live scope. I'm here to tell you that you want to put that larger unit at your console or at your tiller where you are gonna be driving around. You may say, ah, well, you know, put that larger unit up front where you're gonna be spending the most amount of time. I will agree that would be very good if you have all the same size units, but that is most typically not the case for a lot of guys being that they have to deal with the budget. And that's totally fine. This is what I mean. These units are fish finders, right? They are designed to help you find fish, obviously, but find productive water and eliminate non-productive water. These are the most important things that these units can do for you. Using them to the best of their abilities is key to being super productive on the water and making them uh, a wise investment. This is what I mean by that. This is a 12 inch unit. I, over here, I have another nine inch unit. And up front of my boat, I've got live scope and another nine inch unit. This is why I put the 12 inch unit where it is at. This is a much, much, much better unit for side imaging. And why is that important? Well, side imaging is going to allow you to scan much more water than live scope will in a much shorter amount of time. So this is what I do when I am out on the water. I start scanning, 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 and using the best scanning tool I have, which is my 12 inch screen at the console where I'm going to be scanning. I find what I want to fish, I find that productive water, and I eliminate that non-productive water. I drop waypoints on the productive water. Then with my maps, my charts, and those waypoints, I navigate back to them, drop the trolling motor in, get close to those waypoints again. Then I drop the live scope in, verify what I actually saw on those waypoints and on that side imaging, make sure it is productive water, and then go about my way, hopefully catching fish. Hopefully this little tip helps you guys out. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more tips and tricks on MG Marine Tech. 